Uh, well, in the little town of Arco, one place definitely stands out from the rest. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lorson shares a story behind the Rock House and its scenic rock garden. Small towns in rural America often get overlooked. As their population shrinks, their history can fade. But you could say Arco remains rock solid in western Minnesota. We'll just look out the window and a car will just be stopped out in the road. They are just, wow, I can't believe somebody took the time to do this. That somebody was a man named H.P. Peterson. He was a rock collector who opened a gas station in 1936. And if you're filling up with gas, you couldn't help but notice that the building was covered in pipestone, pink quartz, volcanic rock, and possibly even a dinosaur egg or two. Why do you think he did this? I think he just enjoyed rock collecting and he didn't know what to do with the rocks. Did you ever think you'd live in this house? Oh no, never a chance. Liz and Dave Herzog have lived in the gas station turned house for the past 25 years. Dave believes it took Peterson decades to piece all of this together. He gathered millions of rocks while on family vacations in other parts of the country and then made them part of his facade. He must have had a, a design in mind Peterson didn't stop with his house. He also built this Liberty Bell, and his son Vernon built this rock ram and the Statue of Liberty. I watched him build the Statue of Liberty. I watched him build a goat. Owen Bergen says at one point the Petersons had all kinds of creations on their property. Over time, they removed a stone's throw away to Anderson Park. Relocating Lady Liberty was no easy task. It took an army to get the, this out of that front door. The Herzog's patio now sits where the rock garden creations used to be. In the 40s and 50s, kids could see them while their parents filled up with gas. The gazebo here was used as an admittance. They sold you tickets, 25 cents to walk around through the garden. I mean, it was quite impressive through there. The house is still impressive. The home like this should come with a falling rock sign. Sometimes you're sitting out here and what? What do, what do you hear? What? Uh... A thunk. You'll hear. Usually it's in the winter and we're, we're in the house because I believe the freeze thaw. An unusual homeowner problem. Even so, the Herzogs wouldn't change a thing. It's not just a bunch of rocks put together. There are designs on this house. And the more you look at it, the more designs you see. In Arco with photojournalist Nick Luneman, John Lordson, WCCO News. Uh, some of those rock stars that you saw hanging in the story weigh up to 70 pounds, so the Herzogs move them closer to the ground for safety's sake. Uh, the Rock House is on the National Register of Historic Attractions.